thank y'all so much for checking in. It is Parker here bringing y'all another car audio video. In this video, as you saw in the description, we're going to be pulling these 612s out of here and then replacing them with the six biggest subs that I have reviewed for y'all on this channel. So it's just going to be a random assortment of my six biggest subs. We're going to hook them all up and we're just going to see what happens, guys. Will mismatching subs hurt anything? I don't know. We will find out. Let's get to it. So at the moment, guys, we of course have the audio pipe BDC fours in here. This thing is absolutely wild. I'm sure most of y'all have seen it, but I'm gonna crank it up real quick just so y'all can see it move a little bit. As you can imagine, guys, that is just way too much fun. It rattles this entire shop, and it is so wild and so much fun just giving demos in this thing. Always puts a huge smile on people's faces. But it's time to go ahead and start pulling these things out. All right, got all these things out. And guys, these subs have actually been incredible. I've had these in here since August because I, I put them in for the Sundown Show. So that's been over three and a half months of just brutal, brutal pounding on these things. And I have had not a single one fail. No spiders have failed, nothing. But just get a look at these things. Guys, these things used to be 160 bucks. It was an absolute steal. Now I had to pay like 220 for them a piece, I think, just because everybody was getting stimulus checks this summer and subs were just flying off the shelves. So I was lucky I even was able to get these, but Guys, these things have been incredible. Okay, guys, we got the big old performance box all emptied out. So let's take a look at what subs we are going to be throwing in this thing for this video. And let's take a look at the lineup of what we're going to be throwing in here. Just some nice, big old thick boys. Take a look at that little lineup. Going to be epic. First up over here, guys, we have the Def Bonds Apocalypse. This is the SA272, the smallest looking sub out of all these, but this guy took power like nobody's business. Let's get a quick little look up at it in there. Next up, American Base HD. If y'all remember, we put 10,000 watts through this thing, and on the second try of doing that, we did it twice. It did tear a spider, but I got that repaired, so we should be good to go there. Just a massive, massive, beautiful sub. You all know I love American Base. One of my favorite kind of value subs out there. Over here, the Scar VXF. Big old beefy looking fella. Just an awesome, high-powered everyday sub this thing took power got low sounded great over here the dead game audio huracan or huracan sub such a beautiful sub so blessed to have gotten to try this guy out and then over here the sound cubed hdx3 Another just big old beautiful sub. Took power like nobody's business as well. Just did really awesome. And then the tallest and biggest looking sub, the Scar ZVX. One of my personal favorites. You can just use and abuse this thing and it takes it no problem whatsoever. Huge old terminals on this thing. 
massive voice coil in there with the big old flat wire. This guy was just epic. Well, guys, gotta take all these subs, mount them in there, and then we can get to kind of testing it out and seeing how it does. Should be wild, guys. No idea how it's gonna work out. Again, all these are different subs. Some of them have different impedances and whatnot. Do definitely do not recommend anybody else doing this. You can, you do risk damaging your amp, damaging your setup, and it just not sounding good at all. But for YouTube, for y'all, I'm gonna try this out and see what happens. We will see. Again, we'll just make for a cool video regardless, so super excited. Anyway, guys, let's get into it. All right, guys, it is the next day, and it is so cold. Even out here in the shop, you see there's snow on the ground from the car. Even out here in the shop, I mean, we're outside of the wind, but it's not insulated all that well. And I don't have a good heat source in here at the moment, so it is quite cold. But we're going to try to go ahead and get these things mounted in there. We're going to be mounting them all inverted. One, it'll look cool, and two, it'll make it a whole lot easier when I figure out how I'm going to wire everything. So, whew, let's get to getting all that in there. Guys, that was a tight squeeze. That was a pain. Some of those are heavy. This is a cramped little area. But we got all six in there. So now I just got to wire them up. I think I'm going to wire each one in series to raise up the ohms and then in parallel to drop it back down. So it should be around one ish ohms. Most of these are dual two ohms. One or two, I think, are dual one ohms. So we should be really close to one ohms. We'll find out. Doesn't really, really matter as long as it's not too low. We're not going to push this too, too crazy just because don't want to particularly damage anything here we do have well over a thousand dollars worth of subs hooked up right here anyway let's get the wiring done and then we can see what this thing does all right it is all wired up it looks like a huge mess but it isn't. I mean, it's at least functional. Tested with a multimeter and it was saying about 0.5 ohms. Not sure if that's really true, but after box rise and whatnot, we should be okay on this amp. We'll just have to be kind of careful. But let's turn it on and see if all this works. Moment of truth. Guys, that is wild. This is actually pretty, pretty loud. So pretty stoked on it. Let's play a few more songs and just kind of see how it sounds.
So guys, just getting like 145 there, just playing music, holding it, no problem. This is pretty impressive. Let's run some test tones through the dB meter and see what we get. Guys, we're gonna try 45 hertz with it a little bit uh, lower, with the volume a little down and just kind of see what it does. And again, 148.8. Well, guys, there you have it. Loudest we got, 148.8. Not too terrible, considering that this is a pretty big car, and it's not the tightest car in the world. The windows do uh, flex out, and you lose your seal and whatnot. So if I was to build a different style enclosure, you know, maybe one that went up to the very top and everything... Uh, it probably could do a whole lot better, but hey, I'm not complaining. Overall, still pretty fun, and again, we have a total mismatch of subs, none of which are, t you know, obviously made exactly for this box. This box was built for those BDC-4s down there, so not too bad. And surprisingly, guys, it sounded pretty good. You know, people say, don't ever mismatch subs, it'll sound terrible. I mean, I'm just saying, I have six totally different subs here. And it really sounded fine. I didn't have any issues with it. I would totally drive around with this. Uh, just to bump, have a good time, and to see all the haters make ugly faces when they saw it. So anyway, I thought it was pretty cool. Something different. Something y'all haven't really seen here on YouTube. So wanted to bring y'all something new. Please let me know if you like this kind of thing, guys. I enjoy doing super just kind of random off-the-wall stuff like this related to car audio. So y'all let me know. Anyway, guys. That's about going to wrap up this video, but I think in a video coming up here really, really soon, I'm going to buy six of Walmart's cheapest 12-inch subs. We're going to put them in here, and we're just going to see exactly what that can do. I believe their subs are like 30 bucks. So for 30 bucks times six, that's $180. I bet we'll get some pretty good uh, basin out of this thing, some pretty good boom. So super excited for that, guys. If y'all want to see that, Leave me a thumbs up and leave me a comment telling me you want to see that. Again, if this video does well enough, we'll totally do that, guys. I think that would be so, so, so much fun. Anyway, again, kind of a ridiculous video here. Again, I don't recommend mismatching subs, but hey, it worked here. It worked just fine. Didn't give me any problems. Still sounded pretty good. So if you got two random subs lying around and you want to mismatch them, I mean, you can throw it in there and try, see what it does. Just make sure you're not wiring it too low for your amp. You don't want to risk blowing your amp or anything like that. But anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Could not do what I do without y'all, and I am so, so appreciative. Cannot wait to bring y'all tons of more videos this winter. Now that I have this shop, I can totally bust out videos all winter long. So super, super excited, guys. Y'all stay tuned for the next video. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Base on.